During the first couple of weeks of a new flu outbreak, the disease spreads according to the equation I of t equals 2,000 times e raised to the power of 0.082t, where I of t is the number of infected people t days after the outbreak was first identified. Find the rate at which the infected population is growing after 10 days. Include the appropriate units. Because we're looking for the rate of growth after 10 days, we need to find the derivative of I of t, or I prime of t. Notice I of t is an exponential function with base e, and because the exponent is not just t, we will need to apply the chain rule, which is built into the derivative formula here, where the derivative of e to the u with respect to x equals e to the u times u prime. So beginning with the given function, we have I of t equals 2,000 times e raised to the power of 0.082t. Looking at the derivative formula, the exponent is u, so we have u equals 0.082t, and now we need to find u prime, or du dt. u prime is equal to the derivative of 0.082t with respect to t, which is 0.082. And now we can find i prime of t. i prime of t is equal to 2,000 times the derivative of e to the 0.082t, which gives us 2,000 times e to the u times u prime, which is e to the 0.082t times 0.082. And now simplifying, 2,000 times 0.082 equals 164, giving us i prime of t equals 164 times e raised to the power of 0.082t. And now we can use this function to determine the rate of growth of the infected population after t days. Because we are looking for the rate of growth after 10 days, we need to find i prime of 10. i prime of 10 is equal to 164 times e raised to the power of 0.082 times 10. Simplifying, we have 164 times e raised to the power of 0.82, and now we will go to the calculator to get a decimal approximation. Notice how this gives us approximately 372.36. This is the rate of growth of the infected population after 10 days, but let's focus on the units of this rate. Another way to write i prime of t is to use Leibniz notation, which would be di dt. This reminds us that the derivative function value is the ratio of the change of the function value i of t to the change in t, where i of t represents the number of infected people and t represents the number of days. And therefore, i prime of t, or di dt, represents the ratio of the instantaneous rate of change of the number of people infected to the change in days. So in our case, if we round to the nearest whole number, we have 372, which we can write as a fraction as 372 over one, where the 372 represents the change in people and the one represents the change in days. And therefore the units would be 372 people per one day. Let's write this as a complete sentence. After 10 days, the infected population is growing at a rate of approximately 372 people per one day or just per day. I hope you found this helpful.